everyone this is a really 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 old video so i did this just before i moved house i moved in the beginning of september so this would have been done in august and this is a video on my lovely friend christy so i'm wearing gel polish oh my god um i don't normally wear gel polish and as you can see like i'm already chipped the thumb after about two days it's not the gel polish brand it's me i'm too much of a heavy-handed oaf to wear gel polish which is why i always wear acrylic but yeah <laughs> so the lovely christy had come back to me to start getting her nails done again and i have i, I have i have created this set um so i've done all my natural nail work prep some of her natural nails were long enough to just go straight on for overlay some of them i have had to sculpt out um but all of them i've done my natural nail work prep um prep primed all of that and then i've I applied a thin clear base and then with this now I've used small beads of clear acrylic to pick up this glitter which is called Mountain Mist and this is one of the Mix Up Monday glitters. Um, I think we've still got a few of these in stock actually. So while that glitter is just setting into place then moving on to Luring Finger and on this I'm pretty sure I used Strut. I will check the name but I'm pretty sure it's Strut and that is Glam and Glip. I believe. Um, as you can see, I kind of rolled it off my brush there because this is one of those that marble like a mother flapper. Um, <laughs> so when I pick it up, I roll it off the tip instead of placing it straight down, and that prevents a lot of uh, marbling. So I place that at the tip and then blend it up, and then I'm going to apply some of that glitter at the cuticle area and blend down now it is annoying when you've got a color that marbles you do learn to kind of like work with them always give them a really good shape before you work on them so you know sometimes some colors just marble but this color is is just so gorgeous and i love it so much that it i just you know just suck it up some of them will marble some of them you know most of them won't um, i've never had a hd one that marbled but every now and then you get ones that do um but this color is just so lovely it's the most it's like a soft minty blue it's really hard to describe but i just i love it so anyway that one's done so i'm then going back to the little finger and i'm going to cap that in clear acrylic now it's an overlay so i don't need to go nuts like some people comment on like the size of your apex and stuff you want a little apex on an overlay but you don't need to go nuts but saying that even on extreme length nails you don't want a massive apex you want just the right amount to be able to give the strength that you need to that structure so i've just applied that clear acrylic covered that entire nail make sure all of that glitter goes nice and matte and then that one's all done and then i'm going to cap the ring finger as well Then moving on to the middle finger, um, I'm just adding a little clear tip there. Um, so often when I'm doing overlays and I'm trying to level them up, I do find that I often make the extended ones a little longer than they need to be. I, I often do this, it's not intentional, but I don't worry if I do because it's just as easy to file it down. And it's so much easier to file it down than it is to then add more when you've finished so i always err on the side of caution and i always make them a little longer than they need to be on this now i'm just doing a full color nail of strut so i'm using beads of that color to um, place on the nail and as i did before i'm kind of like rolling it away so i end up with a full color nail
and then when I'm happy with that base I'm then going to cap in clear acrylic obviously because this is um, a design powder I'm using um, I'm not using the same monomer I will then need to cap in clear so that the base layer and the capping layer are done with the same system Then moving on to the point finger, and this is a full glitter nail. So again, I'm coming in with small beads of clear acrylic, picking up that mountain mist glitter, placing it on the nail, and then using the tip of the brush just to nudge it around until I've got full coverage. Doing the same on the thumb, and then when I'm finished with these, I'm going to cap both these nails in clear acrylic. And then doing the exact same thing on the other hand. So just going to show you this, but I've just it's on hyperlapse video, um, but doing exactly the same design on this hand. So on the filed and finished nails, I'm going to use this stamping plate. This is, I got a few stamping plates, a little carry case, which is super cute, and a couple of stamping polishes, along with the jelly stamper from Beauty Big Bang. And I'm using one of the stamping plates here, along with the jelly stamper and scraper, etc. And I'm just adding a stamped design on the middle of the nail. I'm going to do um, a little video on this little stamping set I was sent. Um, this is one of three videos using the stamping set and one of three apologies. Oh my God, I literally got this 
like two weeks before I moved house and I remember filming the videos and I remember thinking I've got to get them edited up and share and I didn't and I have been utterly useless utterly utterly useless and it's literally we've only just unpacked the last few boxes in the house no excuse I was sent these products to review and I've been useless at reviewing them but I promise there will be a video I'm going to do three nights in a row there'll be this one there'll be the other stamping design I used and then I'm just going to do a face-to-face -face review of the products as well so I've stamped that design on the middle nail I've then double top coated that with my LED top gloss and then I'm top coating the other nails too so this is quite a simple design but I do like sometimes when you've got these quite simple designs just add a little bit of stamping because it just adds a little bit extra to um, a nice delicate simple set so once they're all um cured all top coated and everything i'm then just using um nail varnish remover like acetone free nail polish remover to get rid of the stamping polish and then i'm popping on a bit of cuticle oil and that's that set of nails done so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys this is a really nice set for spring and like kind of like icy winter tones um yeah and i'll see you all again soon bye